Hello everyone and welcome to Revolution Rail. Today we're going to be telling you how to uplay your double O gauge track. Now, I don't have any other gauge of track, so I wouldn't know how you would apply this to that, but obviously this works and because there aren't many tutorials on this online, I thought I might as well just make one and so here we are. So, okay, first of all, before you upload your track, I just want to say that if you're uploading track, it, it's obviously because you want to replace the track or you want to get rid of the board, so or the layout or whatever. So basically, what I think is something that you should be considering is if some bits get broken, it's not really going to be that bad, is it? It's broken, okay, you, you've scraped up all your ballast, it's okay, you're going to relay it, aren't you? Because if you re relay down track, you're not going to use the old ballast. So, that's that. And now, how, how, how did I find this? I didn't, I didn't look up any tutorials on how to do this, I sort of went, right, I'm going to rip up this track because I don't want this board anymore. This board was a massive board, and I did not want it, so... Basically, all you want to do is you want to get a pair of pliers or something to like pick up the pins and something to ram in underneath the track. Now, what I did is I got a screwdriver and I got a pair of pliers basically. And all you need to do is you need to sort of see if you can lever. The track up from using the screwdriver so basically you want to shove it in and push down this will lift the track up slightly now there's two sort of things you can do here you can try and lever the track up so you don't break the sleepers but this ruins your ballast on both sides and if you don't want to ruin your ballast this is probably the best way to do it no if you don't want to ruin your track sorry this is the best way to do it and what you do is you just wiggle the screwdriver, you wiggle the screwdriver either side, and then you get a pair of pliers and you grab hold of the pin and pull it out, just like yank it out. That's what you've got to be doing. So there's also another method you can use. This is the one way you just like brute force and nothing else. This is if you don't care about really anything on your board. <laughs> so what you would do here is you get a screwdriver, you get two screwdrivers actually, or something to use as a pivot. You would shove one in like you did before, and then you put the other one underneath the screwdriver and press down. This usually ends up with it just popping off and absolute and wrecking the sleeper. And you've also got to apply a lot of pressure, which could also damage any scenery you've got around. So this might not be the best thing to do. It's just I thought it worked, it was really quick, if I, if you are uploading loads of track and you just want to replace it all and you know you're going to come back and redo most of the stuff around this is probably the quickest way to do it if you've got loads of track so there's that and then there's the second one or the third one the, th the third one is where you use both of those so you sort of shove it under but leave the lever quite close to the track and sort of lift it up enough and then you can get the pliers and pull out the pin and then you've got a free bit of track now the only problem with this is when you're laying track now when you lay track you want to be careful on how you do it you don't put too many pins in because then you wouldn't be able to get your track up as easy and if you put pins in the points I wouldn't suggest that, that is a bad thing to do because points are the most expensive part of the track and if you're uplaying it like this you don't want to have it so you have pins that are in the points and you just break the points it's like 20 pounds chucked away basically because you probably won't use those again because you probably messed up the mechanism so I would suggest not pinning down your points just you sort of like maybe maybe gluing them slightly just to hold them in place but don't pin them down with track pins so 
thank you all very much for watching this short video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can come back next time. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. I'm definitely going to be doing a England Look project, so make sure you stick around for that. So, thank you all for watching. This has been Revolution Rail.